Are you ready to breathe new life into your next family gathering? It's Christmas and there's all kinds of family gatherings, dinners, parties, and you want to have a good time, right? All right, so let me get you started. First of all, there's the power of words. The power of words in your head. Anybody else have that whenever they decide they don't want to do something, but they should do it because they, they're supposed to do it. And then they have the these voices in their head that constantly tell them, oh no, here it comes, that family gathering. I'm, you know, Aunt Susie, she's always giving me trouble, asking me questions, you know, if I'm ever going to get married or ever going to have kids or what have I been doing this year? And I can't think of anything I've been doing this year. Those power of words, the power of words that start going round and round in your head that cause you to be miserable. Well, you do have the power. You have the power over your words and you can reverse those words. So instead say, you know, I'm glad I'm going to go see my family. Everybody doesn't even have family. I'm thankful to have my family. I am looking forward to a great dinner. I am looking forward to seeing Uncle Bill. You know, think about the things and change the words in your head. The next thing is the past. The past. Let go of the past. If there's things in the past, somebody's caused you trouble, somebody's hurt your feelings, somebody's not come through for you, let go of it so you can start anew. Let go of the past. The next thing is check your emotions. Check your emotions before you go. Make sure you had a, you know, a little bite to eat before you got there so you're not all cranky and hungry or you're in a hurry. Um, make sure you have, before you go in, if you're already you know, having trouble with your emotions, before you go in, stop. Take a nice deep breath. Decide you're going to have a good time. And if you have to, I like to tell people to use the pause button. And that's pausing right there, right? When you get inside, if there's a little bit of trouble with somebody and you're thinking, get me out of here, use the pause button. Don't get angry. Don't get frustrated. Don't get sarcastic. And did you know that everyone loves a great listener? Are you a great listener? Are you a great talker? Sometimes, you know, we're one or the other. So everyone loves a great listener. So do know that when you're sitting, you're patiently listening to somebody um, interested in them. They think you're the most special person in the world. And on the same note, sometimes when we are a talker, we have to be sure that we allow conversation and we stop and let the other person talk a little bit for that quick talker, right? So, but everybody loves a great listener. And then the last one is, Take in your best manners. You know, the good manners your mama taught you. Take in your best manners and then be sure to respect everyone with the same respect that you want to have. I'm Connie. You can find out more at Connie's Clever Concepts on Facebook or .com. Thanks.